What's up you guys? Welcome back to a new bullet journal video. For this one I have my 2019 flip through. You can kind of see uh, the development of my skills and of um, my own style and such. I'm also planning to film a 2020 setup for this bullet journal. I didn't do a setup for um, my 2019 one because I just started journaling in it and I just skipped the whole setting up part. But if you want to see um, the setup for this one, please subscribe, hit that notification button so you won't miss it. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. The bullet journal that I used is, isn't by any particular brand. I bought this at a Dutch store called Action and it was very cheap. It was two euros, which is like three dollars or something. And as you can see, it wasn't a very good quality. Um, the paper was fairly good. As you can see, you could water paint on it and it wouldn't um, like ghost a lot. So I liked that. And the paper is very white, so it looked uh, good with my own stickers and I started with a Harry Potter theme. I do one every year I use my own stickers the wizard stickers. They are updated uh, Right now. So these that you will be seeing here aren't the ones that are in the shop right now So they are better quality now and such it took me a long time to draw the car, but it looks very uh, simplistic, but still very creative so this uh, house and a uh, mood tracker was so cool to do. You can buy this now in my shop as a sticker as well. This was my um, tracker for Etsy sales, Instagram and YouTube. A random blank page. <laughs> Weekly spread with the stickers. When I don't like pages, I just glue them together as you can see here. Now we are getting to October and these spreads were autumn themed and again with my autumn stickers, my own stickers that I drew and made, they are uh, still available in my Etsy shop. I really like these um, combined mood and habit tracker so that you can see that any habits have influence on your mood. As I'm looking back at this now, I really like the printable and stuff but the watercoloring is maybe a bit too much. It is quite busy, but I love the collage style and I love the colors. Here I used stamps for the days of the week and I think it looks really cute. The thing is, it is so busy that I kind of don't know where I should look. I love little parts of the spreads like this, but I don't really like the whole. Now we are going on to November and I used my um, forest printable for this one. Again, the habits and my mood tracker. As you can see, I don't always end up filling in everything. The 5th of November is my um, engagement anniversary. So I put a picture from my husband and I uh, when we got engaged. On to December, I used a lot of washi tape paper, stickers, and doodles. This was one of my favorite uh, mood trackers that I did. I really liked the um, idea of the Christmas tree and the ornaments and such. A December bucket list. I didn't do one for, for this year actually. I also really like this scripture uh, advent calendar. So underneath every uh, little box, there was a um, verse of the Bible. And it says, Oh come, let us adore him. So a little uh, reminder of why we really celebrate Christmas because of Jesus Christ. Now on to my very, very, very favorite theme of 2019, my fortune teller theme. And I first of all love, love, love um, this page. And I'm going to do a uh, January fortune teller 
theme for 2020 as well because I love the idea of kind of predicting what is going to happen um, in 2020 or in the new year and I have to think about it still. I loved this moon mood tracker but it was really hard to um, keep track of because I used gold paint for it. It is so much easier to just use a pencil or a marker or such so that wasn't ideal but I still think it looks really cute. Sometimes I get really motivated with my trackers but when I get really busy I don't look at them and I don't fill them in. Now here come the weeklies and I loved 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 and still love um, these spreads. I love how the collage looks together and that it's not too busy but it is um, very cohesive. I love the colors, I love the doodling and stuff, the images that I got from Pinterest. Like I said, I used my very own um, fortune teller stickers um, for these spreads and I also used my uh, printable, my fortune teller printable for this. As you can see, these spreads look fairly uh, busy, but I think it is because of my handwriting. When it is, uh, isn't filled in, it looks so much better. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorites, I guess. I love the collage here and the colors. Love it. Can't wait to start um, my fortune teller theme for uh, 2020. Here you can see the sticker that I used and, or that I made and used here as well as this one. For February I chose a self-care theme and I drew this out and made it into a sticker as well. I remember this was such a struggle. I drew out the heart first and filled it in with colors, didn't look good. But now that I look at this, I quite like it. For this habit tracker, I used individual calendars for the first time. And I really liked it because you can quickly scan the page and see how much you did um, for that month and things that worked, things that didn't work. And I really like that. Because of the self-care, I made a self-care uh, page, things that make me happy or things that I can do um, to relax like meditation and yoga, uh, diffuse oils and I also made these into stickers so you can use them and I think they are really cute. On this page I had the compliments page so every day I gave myself a compliment so this is kind of weird to look back at. Let's see, let's read one of these. So you think about others, you are a good decorator, um, you love your family and friends. And have you thought about your figure? So nice! <laughs> that is so funny. Because February always reminds me of Valentine's Day, I used a lot of hearts and cute colors, but it was also self-care, um, like loving yourself themed. So. I really uh, didn't want to use a lot of reds and stuff, so I used pastels and I think that looks really cute. I love the quotes here and there and the plants. Again, one of my favorite themes. March is my birthday month. I turned 27 this year. Gosh, I'm getting old. For my goal tracker, I again used the individual calendars. I loved it very much. For my mood tracker, I drew little perfume bottles and filled them in. The cool thing about um, bullet journaling is that you can reflect on things. If you have a brain like mine, um, I forget a lot of things. And when I look back on this page, on this mood tracker, I see that I was sad, anxious and kind of neutral feeling a lot here. Okay, prepare yourselves because here come the very, very, very busy weekly spreads. So sometimes I can get a little bit overboard with some things. As you can see here, um, this is a lot of collage, a lot of um, different kind of materials, which I love, but there should be some balance in, in it here. I made my very first uh, Dutch door. And it was nice because I could make one weekly here and one weekly here. That was very nice. 
Um, but yeah, I will, if I do a vintage theme again this year, I will try to keep some balance. Oh, I love this one as well. I didn't film an April um, setup, which I was really sad about because I really, really loved um, making these pages and I loved the theme. This was kind of spring plants and I love the washi tape that I used here, the images, the colors. And for the first time I made a little calendar here, so with a little overview. And I just placed the events underneath because I noticed that I didn't really use the calendar a lot, as you can see here. So it took a lot of space, but I didn't fill it in properly. So I thought this would look um, better and it would take less space. Oh, I love these colors. It is so bright and springy. I use my own uh, plant stickers. This is a sticker as well. I get inspired by my own work. Is that very arrogant to say? For my April spreads, I used the collage method still, but I kept it around the borders. And in the middle, I have my planning section. I really like this because the overview is really nice. I have my goals and to do section right here. And that is very, very handy. And yeah, I like um, how I used the uh, collage still, but I kept the planning part very minimal. I see that I skipped May because I was very, very busy. That was around the time that I moved. I chose a beach slash sailor theme. Love this quote, by the way. I see here that I didn't use my planner in July that much again. I do really like the setup for uh, this habit and mood tracker, by the way. I love that I have the days of the week um, at the top as well, because sometimes I fill in my mood and habit tracker uh, a few days later. And I also really like the, the graph here with um, the dots and I really, really, really like this spread. Um, although I didn't really fill it in. I kept the same uh, collage and uh, overview method as you can see here. And I skipped August. So we start again in September. I think I finally figured out my style uh, during this year. I love collage, but I also like having a good overview. I think I found more of a balance, as you can see in these spreads. Here you see my favorite habit tracker that I did last year. It got pinned on Pinterest so much and you all liked it so much. I used my own stickers. It was very easy to make. Um, it wasn't my idea though, um, using the letters, the Hogwarts letters uh, for my habit tracker. I, I don't remember whose it was, but I said it in uh, the video. So if you missed that, um, click on the information button right there. And I didn't fill in my uh, expense tracker as always. I am still reading the Harry Potter books. I am in the fourth book now, Goblet of Fire, my favorite. For my mood tracker, I really liked the setup, but I didn't like the colors that I used because they don't mix very well. If I will make this um, again, maybe sometime in the future, I will definitely use other colors because I think they look really ugly mixed, but the setup was really nice. Here you see my very first weekly spread from this theme and I really, really, really like how it turned out. I love the vintage uh, collage with my stickers and I did kind of um, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin and uh, Hufflepuff. Next up is October and I really like this um, theme as well. I used my own stickers again and more of a warm um, colors scheme. 
this habit and mood tracker looks a bit weird because I had a little miscalculation with uh, placing the tracker because I think I made the uh, collage border first and then I was left with this weird empty space at the top. Well, it sometimes happens. Here I tried something new. I have my weekly overview on one side and my to-dos and goals on the other side with some quotes and such. Here I tried something new again. I put a weekly spread on one page and on the other page as well. So I had kind of a two week overview. I liked it, but it looks quite busy. I think um, if I used less um, washi tape and stuff that it could look nice and it worked very well. So maybe I still have to figure out some things, but I kind of liked it. On to November. November was autumn themed and I like that I kept kind of the same color scheme here. Some warm tones, but I also threw in some blues. For my habit tracker this month, I kept the individual um, calendars. But I think I got fed up with my hand being so sore because this one, oh man, my hand was dying. So I think um, that it is really nice that I just printed out multiple calendars of my printable and then used it like this. I think it is very handy. I kept the same idea of a weekly spread on one side and the quotes and to do's and goals on the other side. We are now in December, so this will be the last month that I will be showing you. I have a little calendar of my principal here and I used my own uh, stickers as well as some images from Pinterest. I have a big calendar or events overview because in December it is always very busy. So that is really nice and <laughs> didn't fill in my goals. I did that for the weeklies though. For my habit tracker, I kept the same idea. I printed multiple uh, calendars of my printable and yeah, as you can see, I didn't go to the gym or write in my diary at all. Ooh, I also love this mood tracker. It is very um, cute looking in the end when it's all filled in. Still need to think about the goals um, for 2020 and kind of reflect on 2019. For my weekly spreads, I again used my um, Christmas printable and my Christmas stickers. I love, love, love these patterned uh, paper here that I got from a magazine. It looks so festive. It kind of looks like sprinkles, but also like snow. I think it fits very well with my uh, theme and the colors and such. Oh, here I tried something new. I uh, didn't use my principle for the days of the week. I just hand lettered. And again, it got <laughs> kind of busy, but yeah, I, I, I tend to overdo things with um, my bullet journal. It's very hard for me to keep it very minimal. And this was the very last, um, yeah, weekly spread. And in the very back, there are some paints, pencil, marker, um, swatches. And that is it for this bullet journal. So that was it for my 2019 bullet journal. I hope that you liked this flip through, maybe got some inspiration from it and yeah, kind of see how my style develop through this year, throughout this year. And write down in the comments, which is your favorite theme that I did. I would love to know. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.